having some extra minutes or even hours of battery life on your iPhone would be great. Well, most people will actually not get that great of battery life on their devices because they have set up their devices the wrong way. So in this video, I will show you guys how I set up my device in order to get the best battery life. And I guarantee you guys that if you follow these tips and tricks, you will get way better battery life out of your iPhone. And we're starting things off with one of the most important things, and that is location services. Now, location services will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. Now, the way I do it, I completely turn off location services. The only time it's on is when I need it. I need to maybe go somewhere, I need the map, turn on location services. You can do that using Siri. You don't have to actually go through the settings app and when I don't need it, just completely turn it off. Now this does a lot here. We'll have a ton of apps and you will also have here the system services. All of these are using your location and it's basically active most of the time. That way it actually consumes a ton of battery on your iPhone. So what you need to do, turn it off if you're not using it, or if you don't want to turn it off completely, you can of course go to the, this list of apps right here and see which apps are using your location. Turn it off for apps that you don't need to use your location. And what you can do is also choose here while using the app. Don't leave it on always for any of the apps because of course that will also drain the battery out of your iPhone. Another thing that will consume a lot of battery are live activities. Now live activities have been added to iOS 16. They're a cool feature. When you need them, use them. But if you keep live activities on for a long time, they will of course consume a ton of battery. And if you have something like the TV app here where it has live activities, and you can also enable more frequent updates that will consume even more battery. So right here it says said that allowing these more frequent updates, it will actually consume a lot of battery. It says right here can drain your battery faster. So make sure that you don't leave live activities turned on when you're not using them like app launchers and maybe like things like that, different animations, they consume a ton of battery. Make sure to turn those off and only enable them when you need them. Another thing that consumes a ton of battery is vibration. Now vibration on your device has an engine basically, which of course uses a ton of battery. Now what I suggest you do is go to sounds and haptics and scroll all the way down here and you will have here play haptics in ring mode, play haptics in silent mode. Of course, if you have your iPhone on silent, you want to have something that will tell you that you have a call maybe or a notification. So you can leave this on. Otherwise, make sure you have turned off play haptics in ring mode because if you have haptics on and also a lot of notifications, that will consume the battery really, really fast. Now, some of the worst things that you can do to your iPhone's battery is leaving on different services that are always working in the background when you don't need to. And one of them is actually screen time. A lot of users don't actually use screen time, but they still have it turned on on their device. Now, if you go to settings, go to screen time, of course, you can turn it on from here. If you have it turned on, you don't need it and you don't use it, make sure you go ahead and immediately turn it off. Now screen time is always working in the background. It might seem like it's not doing anything, but it's actually working and it consumes CPU power. That way, of course, it consumes battery as well. And you don't need it, maybe you don't use it, go ahead and completely turn it off. You will save a ton of battery. Another thing I always do on my device is disable automatic downloads for apps. Now you will have here automatic app download. So when you download an app on your other devices, will download on this device as well. And you will have app updates and in-app content. All of these three are automatic downloads. Now what this will do is of course, it's working in the background, downloading and updating apps, and you might have low battery on your iPhone. I will just keep this off all the time. And anytime I actually need to update my apps, when I plug in my device to charge, go ahead and manually update them from the app store or download them. If I need to download an app, that's not a big deal. Of course, it doesn't require a lot of work. You can do that with a couple of clicks, but if you leave these on, maybe they will start downloading and updating just about when you don't have enough battery on your phone. So that's really, really bad. Now, one thing I would recommend you do, and a lot of people actually don't do it, is use Wi-Fi as much as possible. You will have probably an unlimited data plan. You don't care about connecting to your Wi-Fi, you just use the data plan, but it will actually consume a ton of battery. When comparing Wi-Fi 
to seller data seller data will probably use like maybe twice the battery life as wi-fi wi-fi uses way less energy so make sure you go ahead and use wi-fi especially when you're a place where you know you're going to stay for a longer time maybe at your home or at your office or anywhere that you have access to a wi-fi network that is of course a safe wi-fi network make sure you go ahead and connect there and use seller data as less as possible next up is the brightness now auto brightness on iphones works really really good and is of course a great feature and it saves a ton of battery so head on to accessibility go to display and text size scroll all the way down and make sure you have turned on auto brightness this is of course really good and it works as i said really really well based on the environment light it will turn up or down the brightness of your iphone and a lot of people keep this off actually and all the time you will have to readjust the brightness and you will probably have the brightness up a bit more than you need to that might even damage your eyes but it will also damage the battery life of your iphone a huge part on the battery life of your iphone will also be notifications now every time you get a notification you will get a sound there a haptic feedback maybe and also it turns on the screen of your iphone that means that there are three things at least three things that are consuming battery out of your iphone with just one notification what you need to do is make sure that you manage your notifications now the scheduled summary is a great thing that apple has done make sure you put as much notifications there as possible and of course turn off as much as possible there will be a ton of apps on your devices you don't need to get notifications from make sure you go ahead and turn those off immediately if you don't need them and of course for the apps that you might not need immediate notifications make sure you go ahead and put them on the scheduled summary so you get as less notifications as possible on your device next one will be siri now head on under accessibility and find siri here there are a few things that you need to do here this one right here always listen for the hey word this is the worst this will keep it active on the background all the time always waiting for that command to actually turn it on that's really really bad i can turn it off completely if you want to by going to the series settings right here from the main page but right there but if you just wanted to enable this and disable that one that basically allows it to just listen for that word anywhere even with the face down when the iphone is the, with the face down or just basically all the time make sure to do that because that's really really bad and last but not least are updates always make sure that you update your device to the latest software now with currently ios 16.5 which is on beta and will be released to the public most likely next week apple has actually done a great job and you will probably get a bit better battery life than ios 16.4 but i see a ton of people don't actually update their devices on time they would have like a software update that has been released like maybe six or seven months uh, months ago so make sure you always have your device updated to the latest ios firmware so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one